Often, when working with either, we need to do transformations on the right or the left value. For example, if we have an either error or user, we might want to map the user to its username, which is a string, and we might want to map the error to a more specific error, like user not verified. So let's see a concrete example of how we can do these kind of mappings on an either's value using the utils that FPTS provides. Let's say that we want to define a function, create response, which given a payload that can be anything, returns either JSON stringify error or response, where response is a simple object that has a body and a content length property, while JSON stringify error is an object with a type and an error. So if we call create response with a simple object as payload, we get back a write with a response object that has a body property with the JSON stringify payload and a content length specifying its length. On the other hand, if we have an object with a circular reference and we call create response with it, we get back a left with the JSON stringify error since objects with circular reference references cannot be JSON stringified. Returning back to the create response function, the first thing we want to do is to JSON stringify the payload, so we could pipe the payload into json.stringify. However, that would not work because json.stringify would throw an error if it fails, but we want an either. We could create our custom json stringify function using either try catch, like we did for json parse in another video, but this time let's actually use the json module that comes with FPTS. It gives us the stringify util that takes some payload a and returns either unknown or string. Having unknown as the type of the error is not ideal, but we'll see how to transform it to a proper error later. So going back to great response, we can import the entire FPTS JSON module as a namespace J and pipe the payload into this new JSON stringify. So the result that we get back is an either unknown or string. The next thing that we want to do is to map that string into the response object. This can be accomplished using the either map Util, which takes a function that maps the either's write value to a new value. Of course, this mapping is done only if we have an either write. If we have a left, map does nothing. So going back to create response, we can map the stringified payload into the response object, that is, an object with a body and a content length. At this point, we have an either unknown or response. The next thing that we need to do is to map the unknown error into a proper JSON stringify error. This can be accomplished using the either map left util, which takes a function that maps the either's left value to a new value. Of course, this mapping is done only if we have an either left. If we have a right, map left does nothing. So going back to great response, we can map left the unknown error into the JSON stringify error, which is an object with type JSON stringify error and the raw error, converted from unknown to an error object. So now we have an either JSON stringify error or response, which is exactly what we want. Also note that in this case, we're mapping both the right and the left value of the either. For cases like this, there is also another util called either.bymap, which takes two functions, one to map the left value and one to map the right value. So if we have an either left, it will map it using the first function, and if we have an either right, it will map it using the second function. So in create response, we can replace map and map left with bymap and get the same result. In the specific case of JSON stringify, having to map the unknown error every time might get annoying. So let's define our own JSON stringify function that will always give us a JSON stringify error when it fails. This can be accomplished by doing function composition with flow, where we first JSON stringify and then map the left value to the JSON stringify error. So if we use our JSON stringify function in create response, we only need to map the right value. 